Hey guys, Josh here from the Sunshine Tribe. Just want to have a little chat with you today about one of those things that I found really hard when I was growing my tool business, and that was uh, getting control, getting a handle on my numbers. If someone asked me for a piece of advice that I would give to a young startup or growing tool business, it would be know your numbers from day one. Get control of your numbers and understand your numbers because it helps you make smart business decisions as you grow. So one of the ways that I got control uh, in something that I frankly hated, I avoided at all costs um, when I was growing was, well, first of all, to outsource my bookkeeping. That was the very first outsourcing decision I made to get someone in to manage my books. I hated it. It took me a lot of time. I wasn't accurate. It didn't come naturally. It had to go. And I, um, I found the benefits just... Uh, immeasurable instantly when I made that decision. I, you know, those uh, the, I made that money back so quickly, and I could just have so much impact elsewhere. But anyway, as we as we grew. Uh, I had the same bookkeeper that was with us in year three that I had when we sold the business in year 10. And they saw us grow from, you know, 200000 to $2 million plus. And uh, they, they were with us the whole way. Um, what they used to do for me on a fortnightly basis, weekly, I didn't really like that. It took up, you know, it was too regular, but on a fortnightly basis, my bookkeeper would prepare a really simple report for me. It had it was an Excel spreadsheet. It had one tab accounts payable, another tab accounts receivable. In that report, they would simply list first of all at the top how much money we had in the bank at that point in time, and then on the first page, all of those accounts that we had outstanding that, were, that we had money uh, that, that we owed to people and how old those uh, those amounts were were they due now were they 30 days or 60 days hopefully we didn't, we didn't have anything that was that was you know more than 60 days old um, and then it would just say to pay and a Y or an N so I would just go down yes no yes no yes no for that fortnight uh, it took me about three minutes to do that I mean that, that that page sometimes ran to you know 30 or 40 items the next page all monies owing to us and again when they were due whether they were outstanding and it just said to chase Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. And uh, and, our, and I would let our bookkeepers know really quickly whether I wanted them to follow up any money. And my take on it was if any account was more than one day old, our bookkeepers got on the phone. I worked out that we had about a 30 to 40% greater success rate in getting accounts paid by jumping on the phone, asking for that accounts, uh, that, that accounts payable department and asking them when that account would be paid. So it was really, really quick. It took me probably around 10 minutes, once a fortnight. I had complete control over the process and then I could get on and not have to worry about it. So really simple, accounts payable, accounts receivable and a really quick column where I just gave them authorization as to what they should be paying on that day what they should be chasing from monies owed to us and how much money we had in the bank at that point in time. And it allowed me to get complete control. I knew my numbers intimately. Uh, I could manage cash flow really, really well. And it allowed me to make really smart business decisions about, you know, trade shows or marketing spends or equipment or, you know, potential new highs. I always knew what we had uh, and, 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 and had a real comfort and level of control over our finances. So hopefully you can take something from that away today and maybe implement it into your business and uh, enjoy the day.